Good evening, folks, and welcome back to Trend Scoop today, your number one source for the latest news and trending topics. I'm your host, Ghost, and we have something intriguing lined up for today, so let's dive right in. Our first topic revolves around a major shakeup at ESPN. Everybody saw that Neil's gone now, Neil Everett, that is. And there's some other notable people that have said out loud that they're definitely not going to be with the company in three years. This de- departure is going to mark a significant transition for ESPN, and it raises questions about what the future of the network's going to do. I'm sure they'll find people to fill their spot, but let's take a listen to these clips. Van Pelt says there's no chance he'll be hosting Sports Center in three years. He says, quote, I've been doing this a long time. And, you know, he moved from ESPN's Bristol headquarters to a hometown in D.C. That's it right there. So giving you guys some insight behind the curtain. That's how he's feeling right now. So at some point, you just got to step aside and let somebody else have it. But he also says, I don't think it will be cold turkey in terms of his cutting off or removing himself from Sports Center. And another way of doing it is direct to consumer. You already have an audience. You can grab them and take them and go directly to them. So it's going to be interesting to watch this negotiation because they can't act like they ain't got the money. Even though they're having the budget cuts and the layoffs, they're still investing in their future and in a grand way. Pat Mac. Our second topic takes us into what's unfolding in Russia. Reports are pouring in about a potential coup attempt. You can find it anywhere. I think the best coverage right now is probably on Twitter, but you can find pretty much every major outlet is reporting this. They're saying that it is true, but some people are skeptical that they can even do what they think they're going to do with this coup. Let's have some of the experts explain what they think is unfolding in that situation here. Russian authorities are telling Wagner fighters not to follow their leader, Evgeny Prigozhin, and also to take measures to detain him. That coming as the infamous head of the private Wagner Russian mercenary army is making a stunning claim tonight, accusing Russia's military leadership of killing a, quote, huge amount of his Wagner forces in a strike. That is a claim that Russia denies. Thank you for joining us today on Trend Scoop today. Remember to stay informed, stay engaged with the latest news and trending topics. We'll be back soon with some more updates and some in-depth coverage. Until then, take care and have a fantastic day. Mm-hmm.